Good morning, everybody. My name is Joy Mochache. Back to Why in the Morning. This is Girls Talk. And actually, this is Wednesday, meaning it is Queen's Wednesday. That means that we celebrate ladies and all things to do with ladies in this particular segment. Even the topics we talk about are mostly about girls and everything. So actually, today we're going to be talking about something very interesting, something that touches our culture and our tradition to the very, very core, and that is dowry. And before I go any further, let me say our social media handles where you can tell us your views because in this particular segment we'd love to hear what you say we need to hear what you're thinking and we love 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 to hear what you want to chip into this discussion so you can find us on facebook that is y254 channel you can find us on instagram y254 underscore channel and you can find us on twitter at y254 channel you can find me at joy underscore mochache and as i introduce our guests uh the lady to my right this pretty pretty lady Miss Adiambo, Karibu Sana. Thank you. Yes. And we're moving on as we go down the line. Our next guest is called um, Favorite Ogeto. Favorite Ogeto, Karibu Sana. We also have Betty Malakwen. Yeah. Karibu Sana. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. And we have Mr. Simba there at the end. I like that name. I like that it's also on the shirt. Eh? Karibu Nisana. So, Nora Adiambo. Yes. Yes. Let me start with you. Before we delve in too deep, what are your thoughts on dowry in a general sense? What's the first thing that comes to mind when you hear the word dowry? Okay. Um, dowry, it's like uh, when you hear a lady is getting married and the man is going like to pay dowry for them to get married, mm -hmm. that means it's like the guy is going back home to appreciate the parents, like for bringing up the beautiful lady that you're going to spend the rest of your life with. It's not like you're, 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 you're buying the lady in exchange of the dowry. No, it's like appreciating the parents and paying back for the good work they have done to bring up the lady that you want to marry. Okay. Sawa Sawa. How about your favorite? Your idea of da dowry? Okay. Uh, personally, when I, okay, when I see the word dowry, I think of parents getting money or maybe in some cultures, uh, cows or such things uh, to, uh, from a man to take for their daughter. I mean, it's like exchanging their daughter for material things. That's exactly what I see when I see dowry. Mm. Yeah, that's okay. my... Exchanging your daughter for material things. Yes. Wow. Hey, that's serious. Uh-huh. Miss Malakwin. When I hear about dowry, uh, I think about payment. Dowry is a form of payment which a man pays to the girl's family or the girl pays to the man's family according to different ethnic groups. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's true. And our man, the only man on set. Yeah. Yeah. How do you, what's the first thing that pops to mind when you hear dowry? Uh, when I hear dowry, the first thing which comes in, into my mind is uh, it's an African way of appreciation. Mm -hmm. Like the man appreciates the girl via the parents. Yeah, that's what's to me is dowry. That's what it is to you as dowry. Yeah. Okay, now let's go into this discussion because for me I feel it's going to be a bit controversial because I had someone saying it's something to exchange a girl with material and I'm hearing it's just a form of appreciation. And actually, in this country, dowry is just seen as a form of appreciation. When you go to find a girl and you want to marry her, the first thing you're going to do is to give the man's family something... Um, I guess they call it like a token, something that celebrates the union, that says, thank you very much for bringing her up, as Nora said. Exactly. And yeah, thank you for bringing her up. And now I'm going to take it from here. So here's a little something for that. But you know, sometimes diary doesn't exactly go the way we have planned. There's some people who use diary in a very negative way. And when I say negative, I mean in the worst way possible. Let's connect this with, uh, let's go back to the days of slavery. What is a slave exactly? You know, how did someone become a slave? The first thing that happens is you capture this person or sometimes they're traded or bought. And when we think of that, it's basically buying a human life. That's what slave trade is or that's what a slave is. A human life that has been bought and no longer belongs to them anymore. Now they belong to their master fully and completely. 
And there are people who actually equate the payment of dowry to that, that it's like treating a woman like a slave. Because what initially happens is, I give you money, and you give me your girl. And people look at that, especially in the West, they're like, why would you want your daughter to be sold? How can you agree? Because they still think that is a form, it's a purchase, it's a business, um, it's a business purchase that has happened. You have bought a human being and you've brought them home. And sometimes here in Kenya, the worst things happen. You get a couple where maybe the man is um, very egoistic and he has this thought that as a man, I'm the one that needs to lead this house. As a man, no one can come above me. And since I have bought you as a wife, I've given such and such number of cows and goats. That means that you must do what I tell you, when I tell you, and how I tell you. And it reaches a point where a lady becomes mistreated, ETC. What are your thoughts about that? Anybody that has something to say? Um, let me say this. Uh, People misunderstand the word dowry, as you said. Yes. Um, you might find a man is marrying a beautiful woman. Yeah. When the lady was at from her parents' house, he was she was being treated well. She was brought up brought up well until now. She find this man and she said, "This is the guy I want to spend the rest of my life with." Mm -hmm. And then when she goes there, the man started mistreating her to an extent the lady is not allowed to go back home mm -hmm. and even see the parents, like. We have such cases when um, the lady tried to have a conversation, mm. to have a conversation with the husband, like tomorrow, uh, me and the kids, we want to go back home so mm. that we can see my parents. The man becomes so aggressive, sometimes even yeah. beat the lady, yep. just because, and the guy is like, I married you, I paid the dowry, I paid everything your parents asked me to. Exactly. Why do you still need to go there? I mean, those are my parents, mm. I should see them. You married me out of love, but mm. not putting me as slave. We are past that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we are mm. past that. Exactly. Yeah. So when you have me, as you, in fact, you should tell me, babe, let me <laughs> accompany you to the parents. parents. Let's go and see them. Yeah. It's nice. It feels good. But not like if you marry me, now you want me to be like your boss. Yeah. Like, now everything you said, I'm like, yes. Mm. Yes, Like sir. property. Yes, boss. Yeah. Mm. I don't have a say in that house. Mm. And I'm your wife. Mm -hmm. We, we are in this together. Okay. When you went to see my parents, you agreed that you're going to take care of me and we'll be living like husband and wife and not like mtu mm nambo -hmm. Yeah. Ah, moving on to the next view. Anyone can jump in. All right. Okay, I think uh, this perspective of, I mean, the man pays the dowry and then takes you to his house yes. and then starts to treat you like he has bought you. I mean, you... Uh, okay, le le like in Kenya, a married woman should be 18 and above. So when a man takes, maybe even if it, even if it's two million kwenu, he takes at home two million shillings. That doesn't mean yes, but you, I mean, your parents has have taken care of you since birth up to 18 years old. I mean, they have taken, they have used more than that two million shillings. And when then a man tells you not to go see see your parents at home, it doesn't make sense totally. I mean. Two million shillings cannot, uh, I mean, it cannot buy a life. I if mean, you were to, if let me ask you now that you said you gave a specific figure. Yeah. Let's say now that you're told uh, you don't have a choice, favorite. Mm -hmm. You just have to go with this man and we're taking that diary. And then they say, fine, state a price. Do you think that you can state a price or I is your life too high to even state a price? I can't state a price that, I mean, my life has no price. I even mean, 10 million? No. no. It's my life. It has no price. I mean, you wow. can't. I mean, can you be bought for maybe even five million? No. No, your life has no price. It should be like, okay, we're going there because of love. Maybe if you're there appreci appreciating your parents, yeah. they should. Okay, it's not like they're buying you. They're not like they're not purchasing you. Like you become their item. You see. You're going there because of love, not because mm. you're an item who has been bought from. Uh, the parents. Okay. Yes. Okay, picking from where she left, I cannot state the price of my bride price, but my parents can. Because when you talk about dowry, it's the man, okay, it's a token of app uh, appreciation of what your parents has done, that the man is paying. So, okay, mostly the parents take part in this conversation. And again, about dowry, dowry should be put among, should be put into the list of 
what is to be fought in the women's right because dowry like female genital mutilation mm. is used to okay is an is a is a thing used in abusing women yeah because once a man pays for a dowry he owns you like mm -hmm. a property okay like now in the comp contemporary world mostly dowry is no longer paid by cows it's mostly paid by money mm. and like okay mostly money when you, it's like buying a thing yeah yeah so <laughs> the man fully owns you and treats you like a pawn yeah yeah so would you state a price i can't but, but my parents, parents can. can you're okay with your parents putting a price on your life yeah i'm okay because i'm what sure if they say 500,000 shillings i know would you be heartbroken like mom daddy seriously i'll be heartbroken but i know my parents can't state <laughs> such a love bright price <laughs> let's hear from our only man um the moment you asked her if uh, if if the parent put uh, like 500,000 on her head which yeah. she uh, appreciate yeah. she said no yeah meaning that she values money she you values see, money she values money she wants more money you know and uh, you know there's a difference between dowry yeah and slave trade yeah. dowry is a mutual agreement and uh, there are some girls who are burdened to their parents that they just want them to go. And the moment I take you as my wife or my girl and I take you to my place, it doesn't mean that I'm, I'm taking you as a, as a maid. Whenever there's a problem between us... But how can I be sure? How can you be sure? Yeah. You know, in any relationship, love or friendship, there must be blocks that will be blocking you. You see? Whenever there's a problem in your relationship, you don't need to be moving to your mom's house, <laughs> you know? You can solve the issue between the two of you. Mm. And the moment I pay the, bra the dowry, that meant that you're coming to me into my life. Mm. The struggles and everything, you'll be fighting not by not using the fist or anything, mm -hmm. maybe by words or what, but we'll be solving the issues at home. But by running, that doesn't mean anything. Because even the Bible, it always said that it will reach a point where when a woman will leave the parents mm. to go and become one with her and become husband. one this this should go to a, like every girl the moment you're born you're always prepared to leave the house yeah but for the man the moment you're born your chances of staying at home are very high that's where you'll find that for a man a, for a man just just being at home are, are very but high. is in our culture in the sense that because for me i've um their friends that I know who their parents have said, no, you're not bouncing from this house until a man comes and asks for your hand in marriage. This is your place. So it's usually the man that leaves the house, Mshana Nezaka home, until her hand is asked for in marriage. I'm going to counterattack your uh, your argument there. Yeah. <laughs> you say that uh, yeah. that uh, until a man comes. Mm. So th that goes to my first point. Women will just have to leave. And the moment you leave for another man, whenever problem comes in your marriage you don't need to go to rush home mm. yeah. okay the point is okay a problem comes any marriage uh, okay in any family there are problems but the point is when a man has paid dowry when a problem com comes in and then you want to solve the man okay i i know of a situation on i know of a family whereby the man was like, I paid your pride, bright price, so what are you telling me? You're mine. I mean, I paid your dowry, so you're mine. So that's the perception that men yeah. who have paid dowry have on their wives. So now that you they said... Can, they can treat them the way they want mm. because they paid dowry. Mm. That's the excuse. If it's the perception and the excuse, I need to move on to the next question that connects with what you've said. So then do you think that dowry, paying dowry should be illegalized or um, banned or made something that, no, we're not doing this anymore. No, no. It's against the law now. It can't, it can't be illegalized or legalized because when you talk about dowry... But it's legal now. When you talk about dowry, this is an African thing. Mm. It's ju it, it just happened naturally. Even if you're mad and you get a woman, mm. at some point you feel like, no, I need to go to their parents. Mm. And when you go to their parents, you can't just go empty-handed. Common sense will tell you, I can even carry a bag of sugar. That in some ways a dowry, though not presented formally. You see. Wait, where are you going with the bag of sugar? You see, <laughs> you're, you're valuing what I'm bringing. You're <laughs> no. not valuing the person. No, you can't. That's come where to everything goes wrong. That's where everything goes wrong. When you value what I'm bringing, that's when the problem comes in. Remember, I've said when I'm coming, 
you know, right now, as a young person, when I come to your place, I believe you're above 18, I'm above 18, mm -hmm. and I come to your place. You can't expect me to come with a V8. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, okay, let me tell you something. There's something you don't understand here. But the way you've asked her about the prize, and she, and she said no, and then you are like, you see, she values money. Let me tell you, when you see me, yeah, I have been under my parents' house for so many years. They have taken me to school. They have educated. And by the way, men of these days, Mimi is taking when I'm came when you're just so You see, and you don't know even which school she study at. You don't know the fees. You don't know the food. You don't know the pocket money. But you, when a lady asks you for like money twice, your salad, you are like, sina pesa, sina pesa. And then you want, but they let me tell you something. For me, the, the dowry price, it should be six digits and above millions you, you and see. it's not like you're buying me yeah. it's mm. not like you're buying me with that money wow. you are trying to pay back what does paying back means paying back is appreciating what they have done of which if you're coming to marry me of which it's just a favor because if i tell you pay my school fees since i was a kid until i graduated you can't so someone agrees with her. Yeah. Let me read. Let me read a tweet. Someone agrees with her uh, when it comes to the six digits. <laughs> uh, here she says, "Hi Joy, I'm also called Joy from Marquet. Bot or not, Mimi lazima nilipiwe dowry, and it must be five million and above. Cause ni mesoma. Any man who doesn't want that, akanyage frame. Thank you." Miss Kia. So it's the same sentiment. She this this other lady from Marquet. She's red. She has studied and she wants a diary of not less than five million. Mefika, your point that at least if you're going to buy me, I, I mean, I know my price. <laughs> what, about, uh, mm? what about you guys who, whom uh, we've studied? No? What, ab what about it? You are a man. I'm, I'm a, a woman. You know, there's something which I always say that when you want a girl who dresses well, you should buy her address or something yeah. mm -hmm. so this should even go to those girls if you want a man who works find him a job ah <laughs> no 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 let me tell you because something. what a man can do a woman can do better <laughs> don't like don't don't flow with that what a man can do a woman, a woman can do one thing you should know a man cannot stay without a woman in his life but a woman can a woman can there mm. are so many singles mother there are so many people who don't even think do about you, marriage but men do you know, why, do you know, know why god created a man and a woman tell me he didn't, ah, create, he didn't create them to, to, to live their, this their own lives. Can I pause yeah, before we pause. take a different direction? Um, actually, we had discussed this question. Is Dari the ultimate price of buying a girl? And we all had split views about it. We had, um, you know, ladies who believed that, no, this is a specific price I want. Can we please go to the next question? In the meantime, I will be reading a tweet that has come in as well. <laughs> this one's from a man. Let's see whether he agrees with you. Mm. So uh, he says, hi Joy, I'm Ken from Rungai. I'm broke, but I want to marry. I'm there for looking for a lady who can help me pay her dowry. <laughs> okay, you know, you know, when you get a girl, there's some procedures which need to be followed. Are you going for the girl first or the dowry? Because if that's See, it, he knows he can't get the girl without if that's dowry. The, that's the tendency. It means that uh, we should just start a campaign and be like, let's first get the dowry and get the girl. <laughs> no, you can't do uh, things opposite. You just have to get the girl and get the dowry. Mm, so but you see him, he knows that he's broke. He's broke. So he knows he should, that he even, if I get, even if I get this girl, should, even should, if, how will I pay? He should get the girl because uh, you know we're going to have census this year and the number of girls are, are twice the men. So mm. he should get the girl. Mm. So the when we later. come to the question of how much should be placed as dowry, our lady of here said not less than six digits yeah. you said there's no price yani yeah. it can't no be price for a human's life mm. and yeah. you said that you wanted your parents to decide yeah you, you don't give a you don't want to give a figure i i can please six do. digit and above two six digits and above yeah. two i hope one home i hope okay. you're listening <laughs> start <laughs> saving now if you have plans to get married and then you could save maze as then you could save uh -huh. So a quick question. Mm. So for those who said six digits and above, mm. are you ready to be treated like trash because the man bought you yeah. with six yeah. digits? You didn't you, you didn't buy me. The dowry you paid was a token of appreciation for my parents for whatever hell they went through but raising me. Yeah, exactly. Like when we say when I say personally, like I want six digits and above, mm. reason being is you know I'll be in your house. I'll be cooking for you. 
I'll be washing your clothes. I'll be ironing. I'll be preparing. To you will j a man will just come to the house, raise his feet on the table. Babe, I want hot water. I want this and this and this. So when you're paying the money, when you're paying my parents the money, mm. it's not like you are buying me. Because when you are buying me, I see these shoes. I love them. I want to buy them. I'll give the person who is selling the shoes the money. Uh, but Ms. you're not Nora. giving me. You're Ms. giving Nora, it's the same thing. I need it's to the bring the next thing. question <laughs> in because because you've brought in your po you've really stressed your point. I need to know um, the next question. Actually, should be reading. Do a girl's parents have control? over her once dowry is paid yes they're my parents they they give birth to me they have control over me for the rest of my life i mean for the rest of their life okay for this one i want to hear one one how about you they because they received me dowry they can control me they can control you no no they can't okay and mr diambo no no yeah. um i believe it depends how they come in, either, either on a positive or negative. Because if they are coming to break the marriage, no, they are not allowed. They are not allowed. Yeah. So, so, and the next one goes, does dowry empower women? Do you think that dowry empowers women? I believe we lack, we, we've lacked topics that are we've just now trying to empower everything. Now we, we're trying to use dowry to empower women. How does that, how will that change the economy? I don't think so. It does not empower women because once you are being exchanged for money, because that's what dowry is, it creates inferiority yes. in women. Yeah. They feel inferior yeah. and they are, uh, they are treated as investment. Yeah, they don't feel, it doesn't make you feel better about yourself. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I agree with that point, actually. Mm. Yeah, like she has said, it doesn't empower women. It makes you feel like an item yeah. of the man who has married you. Yes. Mm. Um, it doesn't empower women. Yeah, mm. I agree with that. Um, I think we are talking about the money side, right? Yeah. And what about the the other things? But if you, if you want, uh, I mean, if you're if you're so comfortable with the man giving six figures for you, then. Okay, I'll call dowry a necessary evil. Yeah. Because it's good and bad. Mm. Because my parents can't just give me away. So. But as, don't they do that in the West? And has it disturbed them? See, they are surviving also. Okay, it only happens on this continent most of the time, and I think in India. But f okay, but for me, like now and with my culture, mm. I don't think that okay, it's that okay, it's it's okay for me to be given away without any exchange because whatever my parents <laughs> went through in raising me, and I'm going to the man's family, and I'm leaving my family for the man. So like my parents will be left wi will be left without without like uh, anyone to take care of them because I'll be okay as far as I can still go home and help them but my obligation mostly will be with my family mm -hmm. and at times to help the man's family to help the man's family yeah. okay when your man's son Mr Simba uh, I'd like to say that um, about about dowry I think. Whenever I come to a woman's place, am I coming for because of love or the dowry? Because you tell me, are you coming for love or dowry? What if I love the girl and I don't have the dowry? See, that's what this man was complaining about as well. You he know, wants in, to in, marry, you know, but he doesn't I, have the dowry. When I love the girl and I don't have the dowry, I just go for the girl. Without the dowry, then. Without the dowry. But how will the parents I, accept I'll this? Go and, uh, I'll go and present myself and say, honestly, mm -hmm. I love this girl, mm -hmm. and for now, I don't have the, I don't have what you expect. Let's say you're this to, let's say you're trying to take one of these I'm ladies, yeah, who, of these ladies. Are, who have said that they are educated and they they're want educated. to be educated, yeah. they want to st further their studies even more, and you've had them asking for six figures. Now, Meskia, that the parents have studied them well, okay? They've taken them to good schools and they're learned ladies. So then the parents will also say, Ay, kijana. Ah, she has good manners, she has a good head on her, and she has a good future. And you have nothing. How can we possibly give you, you know, give her to someone that has almost nothing? Um, you said nothing in terms of uh, even Money. a cent. To take you know, care. I'll be like, let's assume, uh, I'm, I'm assuming that you, this is the dowry, what and I want to take, maybe her. I'll say, honestly, I love the girl. But for now, I don't have the money. She's educated, I'm educated, and uh, this is what I can offer, you see? Because 
you can't force some people to just give out the money because when you force that guy to go and uh, get the money he loves stress himself distress himself that's true. maybe engaging in illegal stuff just to get that money mm-hmm. to get a girl whom he loves okay 